All right, guys, this is what we believe is going to be a broken exhaust manifold bolt right here. Check it out. See if you can hear this. As you can see, the stud has broke clean in half. And that is what happens on these rams and causes the ticking and knocking noise when you first start the truck when it's cold. And typically when the truck warms up, the ticking and knocking noise will go away. And that is usually a true sign of a broke exhaust manifold bolt like this one. And I'll show you on the manifold, here's our stock exhaust manifold right here. And you can obviously see the back upper corner hole up here is missing a bolt. Um, if you go over here next to it, you can see there's a bolt and then there's another bolt. So all the bolts are there except for that one is broke off. So we're going to have to get the broke piece out of the head. So we're going to have to undo the exhaust on this exhaust manifold, pull the rest of these bolts out, and remove this exhaust manifold completely to expose the cylinder head so we can get the broken bolt out. And then it's just a matter of putting in a new gasket and the new hardware that we have purchased from Napa Auto Parts. But there you go. It's exactly what we thought it was going to be and uh, not a big deal. And we're only, what, not even an hour into this thing? Barely even 20 yeah. Into it. yeah, probably barely into 20, 20 or 30 minutes and we've already got to this point on the truck. So. Like I said, guys, not a big deal at all. Don't be afraid of this. So we're going to go ahead and rip the rest of this manifold off and show you the broke bolt and how to get it out. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get your truck up. We're going to jack it up so we can get the front tires off the truck and take the inner fenders out. And... Uh, then we'll go from there. good on this side so we have Ryan's truck jacked up in the air so that we can uh, pull off these exhaust manifolds and check the bolts and gaskets but we do believe the passenger side has a broken bolt in the exhaust manifold causing the gaskets to leak which is super common on these Ram trucks this truck is a 2012 Ram 1500 Hemi with four-wheel drive crew cab and this truck got low mileage. It only has like 40,000 miles on it. But again, this is a very common problem with these trucks. I had the same issue with frostbite as well. And uh, once you fix it, it's pretty much a solid deal afterwards. But we're gonna go over the parts that you need to repair it. Uh, we picked everything up at our local Napa Auto Parts. Um, this is pretty much the same stuff I used on frostbite. We got a new set of Felpro gaskets. These are the exhaust manifold gaskets for the stock manifolds. And then this is a hardware repair kit. That's the part number on that. And this kit comes with all of the hardware you see. And what we're going to have going on is we're going to have one of these bolts right here is going to be broke. And we will have to extract it out of the head most likely. And when the bolt breaks, what happens is it makes the gasket leak. And so this is what you get in the bolt repair kit. You get all the hardware right here and then you'll need to buy a set of gaskets. Again, we've already kind of showed you. We just got the truck jacked up. We're about to pull the tires, uh, tire and wheels off, and then we're gonna take the inner fenders off so we can get access to the exhaust manifolds. Um, we will have to undo the exhaust connection underneath the truck to the manifolds to get them off. Not really a too, too bad of a uh, job, and don't really have to have any crazy tools to do this, but we're going to get started. We'll show you how it goes. 
All right, guys, real quick. Now that we got tires and wheels off, we're getting the inner fender liners out. There's some plastic clips you got to pop out right here. And then you have uh, a few screws right here that you got to take out. These are, you can use, either use an eight millimeter or a five sixteenths. We'll take out these screws that goes around the fender liner here to pull it out. Other than that, that's pretty much it. He's about to zip one out there. And they just kind of pop right out. There's one here. And then you got these two right here for this little plastic guard. And then I think there's one more actually. Somewhere. Right there. But I think oh you know, I think it's a little it's a little clip, isn't it? Oh, screw. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, underneath the bottom here of that plastic little shield, there's a Phillips screw you actually have to remove on the very bottom. And once you get the hardware out, you pretty much just kind of pull this fender liner out. It takes a little finagle in and a little bit of force to pop out some of these clips up here. A little bit of dirtiness going on back there. You can tell these haven't been off in a while. There we go. A lot of people dread trying to take these out. They think it's a big deal. It's nothing to get these fender liners out of these rams. It's super easy, but Biggest thing is when once you have them out, guys. If you look, it's kind of dark in here. You can see how much room you have to get to these exhaust manifolds once you get them out. It opens them up tremendously, and definitely recommend doing that to do this job. You can probably do it without taking these liners out from underneath, but man, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna fight with it all day long for twice as long. Take the liners out and you'll save yourself a ton of time. All right, so next step up, we're on the passenger side right now because we're gonna check this side first because that's the one the noise was coming from. And what we're doing is we're taking the 10 millimeter nuts, as you can see right here, off of the exhaust manifold heat shield, that silver shield, we're gonna take off and that will expose all the bolts for the exhaust manifold and we should be able to see which one is broke or if we actually have a broken exhaust manifold bolt. So once we get this little silver shield off, we will know exactly what's going on over here on this side. All right guys, so real quick before he jumps in here, um, again, what we're trying to take off is this heat shield right here and we already pretty much know what's going on. So the bolts that have the studs attached, the, the studded bolts to accept the 10 millimeter nuts to hold on this heat shield is usually the ones that break. And this bolt right here, we don't even have the heat shield off yet, but as you can see, if you look, if I take my finger, come on, zoom in camera. If I take my finger and move this heat shield, you see that the whole entire stud is coming with the heat shield which means that bolt is definitely broke and that's where our leak is coming from so the back side the upper back corner of this exhaust manifold is leaking from the gasket and you can see where the factory exhaust connects to the manifold right here so it's leaking towards the back of the head upper corner and that's because that bolt is broken and that is where that little poof poof sound is coming from that you hear that sounds like a ticking or a knocking noise 
again that's what it is so we're going to have to extract the broken piece of the bolt out of the head which usually isn't a big deal um they're not in there they're usually not seized uh, they just break they break clean off and usually you can unscrew them sometimes there's some sticking out and you can grab a hold of it with pliers and twist them right out other times you will have to drill into them and put in a tool to pull them out but it's usually pretty simple but that is what's going on so we're going to finish tearing this manifold apart and uh, we'll show you the broken bolt all right guys so we definitely have a broken bolt now this is the heat shield that covers the exhaust manifold okay as you can see look that's the bolt that's broke in the head that holds the upper corner of the exhaust manifold to the cylinder head as you can see the stud has broke clean in half and that is what happens on these rams and causes the ticking and knocking noise when you first start the truck when it's cold and typically when the truck warms up the ticking and knocking noise will go away and that is usually a true sign of a broke exhaust manifold bolt like this one and i'll show you on the manifold here's our stock exhaust manifold right here and you can obviously see the back upper corner hole up here is missing a bolt um, if you go over here next to it, you can see there's a bolt and then there's another bolt. So all the bolts are there except for that one is broke off. So we're going to have to get the broke piece out of the head. So we're going to have to undo the exhaust on this exhaust manifold, pull the rest of these bolts out, and remove this exhaust manifold completely to expose the cylinder head so we can get the broken bolt out. And then it's just a matter of putting in a new gasket and the new hardware that we have purchased from Napa Auto Parts. But there you go. It's exactly what we thought it was going to be and uh, not a big deal. And we're only, what, not even an hour into this thing? Barely even 20 yeah. Minutes into it. yeah, probably barely into 20, 20 or 30 minutes and we've already got to this point on the truck. So, like I said, guys, not a big deal at all. Don't be afraid of this. So we're going to go ahead and rip the rest of this manifold off and show you the broke bolt and how to get it out. And real quick, I just want to go over real quick, guys, uh, the tools. Um, so pretty much like a three inch, uh, a three eighths drive ratchet with a swivel head is ideal. And then you'll need a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket to get all the hardware out of the old manifold. Um, that's pretty much all you need is a ratchet and a couple sockets and uh, pretty much good to go. All right, guys, so we have all the bolts out of the exhaust manifold. The only thing we got to do now is take the two 14 millimeter screws out of the actual exhaust connection right there where the light's shining. There's two uh, bolts, 9 16 or 14 millimeter bolts that holds the donut connection to the back of the exhaust manifold. I highly recommend spraying those bolts with PB Blaster, WD-40, or some sort of a uh, penetrant lubrication as it will make your life a little easier to come out. And uh, that's it. So once we get these bolts out, the entire manifold will be free and come out of the truck. All right, we got all the exhaust bolts out. We got the exhaust unhooked. He's gonna pull out this factory manifold log. That's pretty much what they look like. They just look like old logs here. They come out pretty easy. You just gotta kind of fish it through. And there we go. You can see that exhaust leak back there bad where that black, all that black smugma is. Right here is the side that was leaking it was up here in this upper corner and then the exhaust gasket right there you can see all the black blowout where it was leaking past the gasket because of that broken bolt 
And then, let's see if we can see our broken bolt. Oh, there she is. One broken bolt. You can see the bolt in the top left corner up there is sitting just under flush of the exhaust man or exhaust bleh, excuse me of the cylinder head so there is none sticking out to be able to grab a hold of so we will have to most likely drill uh, to extract this guy out but no other broke bolts no other leaks just leaking back here on this corner where it had the broken bolt again very common not a big deal so next step up is going to be getting this broken bolt out, obviously. So let us uh, get some tools together and go to work on this thing. All right, real quick, guys, before we start drilling out this uh, broken bolt, we're going to use a center punch. This one's spring-loaded, um, but basically just a hammer and a pointy punch. What you want to do is get that right in the middle of that broken bolt and tap it with a hammer a couple good times to make a little uh, divot so when you start drilling your drill will stay center you want to try to put a center punch right dead in the center of that broken bolt and uh, that way your drill will stay true and try to more or less drill into that bolt as straight as possible so that we can get our extractor in there some of the drilling right here uh, we're drilling into the bolt so we can put the extractor in All right, we ended up having to change out the uh, extractor bit for a different one. Um, this one actually seems to be working and I'm using my little quarter inch ratchet to uh, get it out. But once I hammer in the bit, if we turn the ratchet, take our time. You can see the broken bolt is turning and is coming out. And we are just breaking the surface now, so we are good. The scary part's over with. Now it's all simple stuff. And there you go. One broken bolt out. Now we just got to put the truck back together with a new gasket and new bolts and we're good to go. Alright, now we're going to clean up the uh, cylinder head a little bit with a, with a buffing wheel here. Just make it a nice, clean, smooth surface so our gasket seals without a problem. Alright guys, as you can see, we have the new exhaust manifold gasket and bolts all mounted up everything is repaired and we are going to do the first start on it before we put it back together and just make sure that we don't hear any more ticking or poofing here we go oh yeah she sounds like a brand new one. that's it guys so that is the passenger side that we just repaired uh, the driver side we checked does not have any broken bolts so we are not going to mess with it um, i'm a firm believer if it ain't broke don't fix it so we're going to leave the pass the uh, driver side alone and if it breaks or pops you know down in the future we'll we'll fix it then but right now 
we only had one broken bolt on the passenger side and uh, we got it done it's fixed it's repaired and we're gonna call it good heck yeah guys there you go there is the exhaust broken exhaust bolt repair on the 2012 ram 4x4 truck right there uh, went pretty smoothly not a big deal at all like i said um, do want to mention if you end up doing both sides of the truck okay you will need to purchase two of those uh, hardware kits uh, the little box that comes with the new bolts and nuts you'll need two of these kits to be able to do both sides of the truck uh, one kit does one side but other than that guys we're gonna throw the uh, tires and wheels on as you can see and she is done she sounds good no more exhaust ticking leaking poofing or whatever you want to call the noise she's good to go so stay tuned uh the uh four-wheel drive truck here is going to be getting some serious modifications hopefully here in the soon future uh, we will be putting pretty sure a torque storm supercharger on this 4x4 truck so we're, we're going to be doing a full install on that and uh that's going to be awesome so as always guys Stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, here we go. Dylan Derby right side in the Ram. And wait on car next night. We're going to take off. There he goes. Top end. 1193, 113.